Hello artists from Colombo Britannico. This week we are going to make a dragonfly. There are flies that are beautiful, they have colorful wings, they are magical, they are tender, they are cute. I'm going to show you step by step how to make a painting of the dragonfly. Don't worry if you don't have paints at home. You can also use colors, pinto barritas, play-doh, any kind of material you have. Remember, we need your apron in order to protect your clothes and you work according to your level. Padres, una información muy importante. Si no tienes pinturas en tu casa, entonces puedes utilizar pintubarritas o plastilina. Coges un poquito de plastilina y lo frotas sobre el dibujo y así se le da color a la libélula. Recuerda que en estos tiempos de pandemia no hay que preocuparse por nada, se trabaja con lo que se tiene en la casa. También les recuerdo que se necesita un delantal para que los niños no se manchen, una camisa vieja, algo que se pongan para protegerse. Y recuerda que trabajan ellos de acuerdo al nivel y él solito. Estamos mirando mucho la autonomía y tú tienes que confiar en él. No le ayudes, por favor. Si él no entiende el dibujo, tú te lo puedes hacer en otra hoja. Se lo dibujas y él lo hace. Estamos trabajando con preescolar con todos los niveles, con el, la misma actividad. Entonces, se trabaja de acuerdo a lo que ellos sepan. Si los de prejardín no saben, no se preocupe. Él sí lo va a hacer porque han hecho cosas magníficas conmigo en estos dos meses de clase y dibujaron y todo un porco spin entonces lo dibujas en otro papel papá o si él de verdad no puede después de tantos ejemplos con la mano de él dibujas en otro papel hasta que él sea capaz de dibujarlo en el papel de él papá lo importante es que el artista sea el niño que él lo haga la verdad no tiene mérito si se lo hacemos nosotros así que children don't let anybody really help you because we like help you too much we can help you a little bit but not too much because you are an artist i want to show you a video so you can take a look of the dragonfly very close and understand a little bit of how they live how they fly and everything okay see you in a moment this is one of the most successful life forms on our planet they existed a hundred million years before the dinosaurs. They're skilled at aerobatics and they're merciless predators. Their appearance and their life cycle are so strange they could be visitors from another world. These are the dragonflies. Science has given them colorful names. Broad-bodied chaser, four-spotted chaser, scarlet dragonfly. Some glimmer like liquid metal. Others seem to be fashioned out of stained glass or enamel. In 1558, the French naturalist Guillaume Rondelet noted a distinct resemblance between the hammerhead shark and a small insect. Their habitats are just as varied as the forms they take. But they always have to be close to fresh water. That plays a vital part in their life cycle. All dragonflies are excellent flyers, but they fly in different styles. The smaller damselflies tend to be more cautious. They're not known for daring aerobatics or sudden swooping attacks. They move in a graceful, weightless ballet. Big dragonflies look like marauding fighter planes. They patrol their territory at more than 50 kilometers an hour. They hover like a helicopter and dart off at top speed from a standing start. They beat their wings so slowly, only about 30 flaps a second, we don't hear a hum or a buzz, but a sizzle.
the most notable feature is its head. It's dominated by two gigantic eyes, but they work quite differently from a mammal's. Each eye is composed of up to 30,000 honeycombed eyes, forming a hemisphere. These compound eyes give almost 360 degree vision. Dragonflies probably see better than any other insect. Amazing thing about dragonflies are its two pairs of wings. They're constructed round a network of lateral and longitudinal arteries. A transparent parchment-like membrane is stretched between them. A thin, waxy sheath creates the lotus effect, preventing particles of dust sticking to the wings. For today's activity, we will need a big piece of paper. Remember, I need your name in here. If you are from pre-K, parents will write it. If you are from transition and kinder, you have to do it. We need brushes, at least one, and yellow, blue, red paint, and a little something where to put your paints. In this case, I use a styrofoam. Also, you will need a pencil and a water jar where you can wash your brushes. And also we will need a rag in order to dry our brushes. Let's see. Then we need our paper and our name and the title. Here is a little example of what we are going to do but we will do it better, okay? I'm going to do this drawing with my black colored pencil, then you can see me. Here, I'm going to do the head, and I go and I do small circles, ovals, and I finish with a triangle, okay? Then I'm going to make two wings, then uh, another one. This is not a butterfly, and this is a dragonfly, okay? I think it goes like that. They are closer. Okay? Let me do it. Right here. Remember, in art, you can make mistakes, we will always fix it. Yes. We can do we the will... eyes now. And I'm going to start mixing the paint. I don't have purple. Then, I am going to use a little bit of red and a little bit of, of blue to make the purple. I want the wings to be very, very light. Then I don't need a lot. I make the mixture according to how I like it. If you have white, you can take advantage of the white and make it lighter. Here I'm showing you how many times I tried to create purple. I wanted a nice tone but it always ended up being very very dark it would have helped if i had white however i ended up using a little bit more of red than blue for my purple i'm going to use it like here but then i am going to put water lots of water because the wings as we saw in the video of the 
dragonfly are almost transparent so I use a lot of water more water and I go and wash very good try to wash my brush I dry my brush with a rag and remember I check in my hand if it's clean then I am going to make green how I make green I go and I need yellow I mix yellow with yes exactly you know a lot and a tiny bit of blue using the primary colors which are yellow blue and red allow me to create purple brown allow me to create orange and also if I use black and white I can make different tones now I'm going to paint the I body move the brush carefully from side to side and I am calm and I am only painting the body the body is ready then I am going to make a line with the pencil because I'm going to put to paint water and then with the brush I'm going to put a little bit of yellow clean the brush again you don't need to, to dry it because you need a lot of water the water this part is going to be very watery remember closer to the dragonfly you go you paint with a small brush because I'm using water it's getting messy don't worry we will fix it I'm going to get my bigger brush and I am going to put it like that okay water and I paint around remember closer to the dragonfly I use a small brush little bit of water little bit of paint remember to use maybe a newspaper to cover the table then you don't get all messy Padres recuerda en poner un papel eh, que les tape que les cubra y les proteja la mesa I'm going to clean it for the last time I'm going to dry it and I am going to use yellow stamp 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 it gets messy when you put water on the brush you see it looks better this side let's just do a little bit of water you see I'm covering all in order to do the mouth we will need to wait for the painting to dry we can use a black color pencil and go ahead and draw it I also suggest you to draw in the wings decoration using other colors remember how we saw how beautiful and magic the wings are all the best and happy creation